Hi all, let's discuss ISI UGB 2025 problem 7. So the problem is very interesting and uh, those who have uh, prepared for Mass Olympiad, so this problem uh, ideally should be very easy for them. So the problem statement states that uh, consider a ball that moves inside a triangle, uh, inside an acute angle triangle along a straight line until it, it hits the boundary, right? which is when it changes the direction according to the mirror law or basically the ball gets reflected from the side of the triangle, right? Just like a ray of light, right? Now we need to prove that there exists a triangular periodic path for the ball as pictured below. Now see, this is a very simple uh, property and if you remember uh, for a triangle, for any triangle and in fact, uh, let's talk about acute angle triangle. Why acute angle triangle? Because uh, the reason will be very obvious to you in a few seconds. So consider any triangle, we know ortho center of any triangle, ortho center is in center of, in center of what? In center of orthic triangle. So ortho center is nothing but in center of the orthic triangle and uh, what exactly we meant by orthic triangle is basically uh, when foot of uh, perpendiculars, just a moment. Uh, when foot of perpendiculars are uh, joined, they form an orthic triangle. Like, let's say this is, uh, let's say ABC is a triangle, Anna, and uh, let's drop a perpendicular from uh, A on uh, BC, that is AD, and let's drop a perpendicular from B on AC, let's say that is e, a, uh, e, and let's say we drop a perpendicular from uh, C, that is F. Now, this DEF is nothing but the orthic triangle, and in fact, the orthic triangle of uh, orthic triangle of this, uh, uh, basically in center of this orthic triangle, which is this point, let's call it as a point P. So the ortho center of triangle ABC, which is point P, is actually the uh, in center of the triangle DEF. And in fact, this is the required path. This is the required triangular periodic path, uh, which is being asked in the problem. So the question, uh, trust me, mother, what I actually like about this problem is the language that they have framed in. So, if you understand the concept very clearly, if you have done the proof, then this statement, uh, then this question is just one liner problem. Uh, now all this, since this is a UGB exam and we need to justify, we need to prove this. So basically, uh, reflection law follows angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Clearly, PE is normal, right? PE is, nor PE is normal on AC. So if this angle is theta, that is angle FPP, so as per the reflection law, uh, that is equal to angle DEP. That, that signifies that PE is the angle bisector. So ideally, what we are left with is to prove this statement. What is the statement? That in center of any orthic triangle, uh, or you can say ortho center of any triangle is actually the in center of the triangle. So let's, let's try to prove this statement. And this is a very easy statement. Let's try to prove it. Let's draw a triangle ABC. Let's say this is a triangle A, B, C and let's, let's draw the perpendiculars. Let's say this is A, D. This is nothing but B, E and this is nothing but C, F. These are perpendiculars, right? So let's join D, F and let's join E, F. So if we are able to prove that both these angles Let's say this point is H. So if we are able to prove that angle HFE, that is equal to angle HFD, which is a very simple proof, by the way, uh, then we are done. By the same manner, we can say that uh, HE will be the angle bisector. By the same manner, we can say that HD will be the angle bisector, right? Okay. Now, how to prove this? Uh, if you see, uh, let's say, can I say this angle or uh, what you say? Uh, there are some cyclic collators, right? Just give me a moment. This angle is theta. We need to justify that this angle will be theta. All right. So clearly, uh, if I say and a triangle collateral A F H E is cyclic, I hope uh, that should be clear to you. Why it is cyclic? Because uh, angle A F H is 90 and that is same as angle A E F A E H right 
AEH and AFH, they both are 90 and that makes sum of opposite angles to be 180. So this HF uh, angle EF, H, E, F, H, or you can say Jo H, E side F point per angle subtend kar rahi hai, Y angle H, E side uh, A point per kar rahi, right? That is equal to angle H, A, E, which is theta. And in fact, theta is nothing but 90 minus C. Why 90 minus C? Because angle D, A, E, ye this angle D, A, E, this is, if you consider triangle A, D, hai na, D, A, E will be nothing but 90 minus C, right? Now let's consider this angle alpha, angle D, F, H. Let's say angle D, F, H is alpha. Now actually we need to prove alpha is equal to theta. Now if you consider uh, this triangle, uh, it's by the same manners I can say F, H, D, B is cyclic. Why th that is cyclic? Because again, um, angle, uh, angle H, F, B, that is equal to angle H, D, B and they both are 90 degrees. So that makes sum of opposite angles to be 180 degree and hence it is a cyclic polytone. And if it is cyclic, so whatever angle H, D is subtending at F, that is angle H, F, D, the same angle H, D will subtend at B because of the property of simply cyclic polytone. So H, B, D is same, which is equal to alpha, right? So this angle is alpha, right? Now, clearly from triangle, from triangle, this thing, B, E, C, what I can conclude that alpha is nothing but 90 minus C. And previously we have concluded that theta is 90 minus C, right? So th this implies, this simply implies theta equal to alpha. That means H, F will be the angle bisector. Similarly, H E will be the angle bisector. Similarly, H D will be the angle bisector. And hence, D E F is the triangle uh, which was actually uh, required. So, there is a triangular periodic path. Yes, there is a triangular periodic path uh, which exists inside the triangle, obviously, uh, such that uh, the ball after reflection will uh, follow that particular path. Now, the main point is how can we conclude that the point will be, that the path will be inside the triangle. That simply is because of this acute angle triangle. So uh, ideally you need to state that since the triangle is acute angle triangle, so the ortho center will definitely lie inside the triangle. That that clearly signifies, that clearly proves that the triangular periodic path will lie inside the triangle, right? So DEF is nothing but the required orthic triangle, which is actually the path of the ball, periodic path of for the ball, right? So uh, that was a good problem, problem seven. Uh, if you if you are aware of that fact that ortho center is in center of the orthic triangle, uh, then uh, the question is very 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 easy. But yes, if you do not know this uh, concept, then the question may be uh, may be tough, right? Because you need to figure that out during the exam time, and that is that is not that easy, right? But having said that, this is a very common concept, especially for those uh, who have prepared for IOQM or Mass Olympiad prepare, uh, prepare and uh, they, uh, if they, if you have prepared for Mass Olympiad, then this concept is very, very common, right? So I hope now you are able to understand this problem. Thank you.